the year 2023 is the year of redigging and repossessing. And I know that God is helping us to believe this word. Me, me, I am believing this word. And I have no doubt that this word will bring a difference in my life. Because it is my word. Just believe God's word. Even this morning, as I speak the word, believe the word of God. And your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm reading from the book of First Peter. First Peter chapter 2 and verses 9. Verse 9 and verses 9. But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are a loyal priest, a holy nation. God's very own possession, possession, possession. Miliki. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for He called you out of the out of the darkness into His wonderful, wonderful light. Amen. I will be talking about you will not struggle to succeed. You will not struggle to succeed. And we will look at why you will not struggle to succeed. Many people, when we look at them, but we are going to look at just a few examples in the Bible. They did not struggle to have success with them. Even where we are reading the, 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 the scripture for our year, we see Isaac. He's not struggling. No. He's just He's just succeeding. He's getting success. That is why he is redigging the wells of his father. Already the wells were dark. Although there were some oppositions, he reached a point that God gave him a room in other words, he succeeded because of the lineage that he was from. You will agree with me. You will agree with me. The reason why we are toiling Every day, we are hustling every day. It's because we do not want our children to struggle during their days. That is why even the chairman was telling us that when the cathedral will be over or it will be complete. He will also have completed his own story building. Why? Because each and every one of us, we are looking forward not to, we are looking forward that our children will not struggle like the way we have struggled. I am believing that those ones are not hearing what I'm saying. And this one, this one are hearing what I'm saying. There are people even now here. Here. Hapa. Here. Hapa. They, are, they are not struggling. Why? Because they they, they got 
things have been laid. Their success, their success has been, the path of their success has been laid. And that is what we are looking forward. And today I am saying, you will not struggle to succeed. As a Christian, we are not going to struggle to succeed. Whether it is in the area of our calling, whether it is in the area of our skills, because God will help us. And God is with us. And where we have led in Peter, Peter is saying, or he is, he was writing, he was not actually writing to any church, but he was writing to the entire church, the church then, the church now. And he told them, but you are not like that. So there is something that was happening before that. <laughs> that, that, is why, that, that is why I do not want to go to what he was saying there before, but I want us to look at this. But you are not like that. For you are a chosen people. One of the reasons why you will not struggle and we will not struggle is because we are chosen people who has chosen us. Jesus chose us. I tell you, the time, the time you called on him, the time you called on him, he had you and he chose you. Hallelujah. So you are chosen. You are not like any other person. People out there, they are struggling because they have a certain kind of a lifestyle that they are trying to do away with but they cannot be able to do away with it because they are already in that Bondage. They are not chosen. And Peter was telling the church, you are a chosen people. From today, I want you to know that you are a chosen people. You are not just an ordinary person. You are not just like any other person out there. Even when you are walking in the streets of Kenyatta Road or in the streets of Nairobi, I want you to know that you are a chosen person. Hallelujah. Somebody should believe this. Isaac knew that he belonged to, he is a son to Abraham. Abraham was an elected person. He was elected. He was chosen. He was chosen by God. And remember, Abraham was a, from a family that, that never worshipped God. His father, Terah, was a worshipper of moon. But God chose Abraham. And he told Abraham, I will bless you. And I will bless your descendants. So Isaac knew very well. Hallelujah. Amen. That he is in that lineage. Today I want you to know. We are in the lineage. Of Abraham. A nation. A people. That are blessed. Through Jesus Christ. 
And that is why Paul, that is why Peter was telling, that is why Peter was telling the church. You got to know this. You are a chosen people. Forget about any other. Because there are many other are talking, they are talking nice things. But when you are chosen, when you are chosen, you will not struggle to succeed. And I, I want us to believe this word. Hallelujah. You believe the word. And you say yes. This is my word. It does not matter. How things are, but this is my word. If you read the book of Samuel, chapter 16, first Samuel, chapter 16, verses 16 to 18. Therefore, Saul sent a messenger to Jesse and said, Send me your son David, who is with the sheep. And Jesse took a donkey, loaded with a breed, uh, with a blade, a skin of wine, and a young goat, and sent them by his son David to Saul. So David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. Then Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Please let David stand before me, for the for he has found favor in my sight. And so it was, whenever the Spirit of God, the, the Spirit from God was upon Saul, that David would take a harp and play it with his hand. Then Saul would become refreshed and well, and the distress, distressing spirit would depart from him. Let me say this. David was chosen. And where we have led is just, is just one portion of indicating that chosen people attracts the blessing, attracts the presence of God. And you remember this story when David, when, when God was to anoint uh, David, there was this drama that was taking place. So there was Samuel and there were, the, there were, there were other sons of Jesse. And so God had to, through, through the prophet, he had to request that uh, Jesse to bring to bring the sons so that God can uh, choose from the sons one who is going to be the king mm -hmm. over, 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 over the children of Israel. So the first one came. Samuel said, Samuel Akasema, not this one. And the, and, the, and, the, and the next one. Na ule and kaja, the other one. Na mwingine, and the other one. Na mwingine to a point that there was no one there, around there, there was no one. And then someone asked, tell me, are these the only sons that you have? And Jesse said, there is, there is another one, he is a shepherd, he is looking after the sheep. And then he was told, let him just ask for him to be brought. And then, and then you know the story, David was brought. And when David was brought, then he was anointed. After the anointing, he was the chosen one. After being the chosen one, then, then God had to walk and to be with him. And the reason why I'm saying that we, people who are chosen, they will not struggle to succeed. By being chosen, 
Kwa kuwa mmoja ambao umechaguliwa you are entitled Wewe uko na uhakikisho to certain privileges Ukakuwa na fursa kadhaa You are very unique like the way David was Utakuwa mtu wa kipekee kama vile David alikuwa There is some something I am I'm, I'm pointing at Kuna jambo fulani nalenga Now after David was chosen and anointed Baada ya Daudi kuchaguliwa na kupakwa mavuta He did not become a king immediately Hakukuwa mfalme ule wakati He had a journey alikuwa na safari he was being prepared alikuwa na tayarishwa and prepared na kutayarishwa up to a point when you read chapter 17 mpaka mahali ambapo utasoma mlango wa 17 and verses 39 to 40 na hapo mstari wa 39 mpaka 40 i want you to see what god does nataka uone vile mungu ufanya mambo to bring mambo. success to your life ndio akaweza kuleta ufanisi that you will not yako. struggle to succeed ya kwamba wewe utanana because already you are chosen kwa sababu tayari umechaguliwa you look at david tazama daudi from a shepherd kutoka pale kwa mchungaji to a king kumfanywa kuwa mfalme so there are many things that are happening kuna mambo kadhaa ambayo yalitokea the environment is changing ule uh, ile hali yalikuwa na sina ilikuwa inabadilika bwana asifiwe sana ama mnataka kuniambia eh nataka muniambie vile ulivyo saa hii the way you are right now is the way you were we hivyo ndivyo ulikuwa kitabu bwana asifiwe sana amen now you look glorious sasa unakuwa unaonekana uko na utukufu. Haleluya. Amen. So David, kwa hivyo Daudi, was actually he was marrying like sheep. Alikuwa ananuka kama kodoo. Because that was the environment. Kwa sababu hiyo ndio hali ambayo alikuwa nayo. But a time came. Lakini wakati ukaja, the environment changed. Ile hali ikabadilika. Haleluya. Amen. Thank God that you are in deliverance church Kenyatta Road. Hiyo inafanya ukwe katika Thank God that you are in deliverance church Kenyatta Road. This is a very good environment. And I am proud to be in deliverance church Kenyatta Road. And not only in Kenyatta Road deliverance church. But in the entire Kenyatta Road. Na haksa sana barabara ya Kenyatta. Na Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. David was marrying like a sheep. Daudi alikuwa ananukia kama kodoo. But the time that he was chosen, lakini wakati alichaguliwa, life began changing. Maisha ikaanza kubadilika. It began changing. Ikaanza kubadilika. Even the victory that he got where we are going to read chapter chapter 17. Hata ushida ambao alipata mahali ambapo tutaenda kusoma mlango wa 17. Are you there verses verses 39? And David strapped Saul's sword over the armor and he tried it in tried in vain to walk for he was not used to them. Then David said to Saul, I cannot walk with this for I am not used to them. So David removed them. Remember this story is about David and David and Goliath, all right? So but I'm reading just a portion of it to you so you might get lost, but that is why I've mentioned I've mentioned it is about David and Goliath. Then he took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones. You see now? From the wind and put them into his shepherd bag, into the porch in his his ring was in his hand and he drew near to the Philistine. And then verses uh -huh. Then the Philistine came on the and uh, on and drew near to David with his shield in front of of him. And when we read verses 46, let's go to 46. Let's go to 46. This is what David said. This very day the Lord will deliver you into my hands and I will strike you down and cut off your head. Remember When he is talking like this he did not have even a sword. Right? And I will give the dead bodies of the Philistines army this very day to the birds of the air and to the wild animals of the earth so that all the earth may know that there is a God. I want you to see. I want you to see this portion of scripture and he says so that all the earth may know that there is a god in Israel there is a god in Israel hallelujah 47 and that all this assembly and that all this assembly may know that the lord does not save by sword 
and spear. For the battle is the Lord, and he will give you into our hands. Amen. Amen. When you are chosen, you will not go by your own strength. You only go because you are chosen. The success that you are going to receive in this life because all of us, not some, listen to what I'm saying, all of us, not some of us, we will receive the blessings of God. Whether it is spiritual, economical, name it. God is going to bless us. But he's not going to bless us because of, of what we have done. But we are going to be blessed because of one thing. We are chosen. If you just stand with that word, I am chosen. That does not mean that we are not going to work. That does not mean that we will not do what we are supposed to do. Even, even David went into war. And that is where God gave him victory. So, we will go to work. And God will give us victory in where we are working. God is going to favor us where we will be. God is going to cause us to succeed. David succeeded. Not because of anything else. He you see, you see, he was there. He was given the whole armor. He tried to walk with the armor. He couldn't. And he said to Saul, Where is it? 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 not normal. it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That David was won the armor, the whole armor. Daudi akavalishwa vazi la vita. Alipo pewa, akajaribu kutebea. He tried to walk, but he couldn't walk. Akajaribu kutebea, lakini hangeweza kutebea. Mungi tafadhali, wacha nitoe ikitu. Akatoa. Wana suwe sana. Amen. Wacha nikuambie kitu kimoja. Let me tell you one thing. You don't need, you don't need many things. Hawitaji mambo megi. For you to succeed. You only need to know that you are chosen. You, listen to me. You only need to know that you are chosen. And then you stand, you stand in that word. David knew. You know what he knew? He knew that he is chosen. If you read it, well, you hear him telling this, this guy called the Goliath. You uncircumcised Philist. Hallelujah. Amen. I I crushed. I torn the the the, the I torn the bear and the lion. With bare hands. You can, you can see. Just because he was chosen. In 2023. 2023. I anointed you here. I was a Samuel. Amen. 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 
You have the anointing. You have the anointing. And the anointing that you have will tear down every work of the enemy. So you don't have to fear. You have the anointing in 2023. You will not struggle to succeed. Just know that you are anointed. You are chosen in 2023. Amen. Mimi shina shita. I have no problem. I know I anointed you. So you will not struggle. I will not struggle. I was also anointed by my prophet. I was also anointed by my prophet. And that is why I came and I anointed you as your prophet. And listen to my word. Esther. From a maid to a queen. Akakuwa A house girl. Akakuwa mfanyikazi wa nyumba. And she became a queen. Na akakuwa malikia. She did not struggle. Yeye hakungangana. Hallelujah. Amen. She did not struggle. Yeye hakungangana. She was she was just there. Alikuwa tu pale. And Hallelujah. Amen. So it does not matter. Kwa hivyo haijalishi. It does not matter. Haijalishi. The way you are now. As long as you are anointed. Mm -hmm. You remember what? What? Was it Muradekai? Was it, was it Muradekai who told her? Who told, he, who told her? Who told her? That God has raised you. You remember those words? Don't, don't you know that God has chosen you in a time like this? Yes. yes. When you are chosen, you, do, you don't pray around. Yes, you don't pray around. At the back, you carry a very big road. I want to, I want to tell you that you have a big road. You have a population behind you. And Esther was to carry the whole bunch of Israel. The nation of Israel. To bring salvation to these people. Amen. So you don't have to pray around. You don't, have to, you, you don't have to play games. And when she was chosen. Hallelujah. When she was chosen. You know when you are chosen. Straight away environment changes. How these guys were coming here to ask for votes. Mm -hmm. Environment may change. Mazigire may badirika. Wana swe sana. Amen. Akisema tunayenda north, tunayenda north. Mm -hmm. Akisema tunayenda south, Akisema north, tunayenda south. Wana swe sana. Akisema tunayenda south, tunayenda kusini, tunayenda kusini. Amen. Saa hii tunalia, tunasema, eh, hey, tafadhali, tafadhali, hii maisha, tafadhali, angalia vile mambo inaweza kuwa rahisi. Eh, sisi tunaomba sasa. Eh, hey, alikuwa na tuoba kura. Sahin yet this is your tunamuomba. Ay, maisha imekuwa gumu. Uka, mwadhani, maguta mata. Mafuta kupika. Gasi, gasi ni yoe. Gasi ni yororia. Kama kuna jina kama hiyo. Hiyo ni yobaya zaidi. Siju yiko erufutatu na. Mwana aswe sana. Si wafanya kitu. Naturi wachagua. So, what am I saying? When you are chosen, wakatu mechagulibwa, you have people behind. 
You have so many people behind you who are coveting your prayers. You have so many people who need your help. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They need your help. They need you to say a word. Because you are chosen. There is a person here one or two or three or four a lot. They, they just need a word. There are some of you who have, never, who have never even come to my office. And probably you are only just you only just need a word. Hallelujah. You only just need a word. And then you get a breakthrough. There was one guy who was in this church. He never believed. Mm -hmm. But one time he believed. And then he came. And I told him, thank God that you have believed. Thank God that you have believed. I pray that God may give you a breakthrough. In Jesus' name. And God gave him a mighty breakthrough. Mighty breakthrough. Business right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left. I'm saying. When you are chosen, like the way God chose you in 2023, to get what belongs to you in 2023, you are chosen. You are chosen. You are chosen. I am chosen. And we got to know and to stand with that. If you see David, David's life, when you look at David's life, that time God gave him success. In many, in many other areas, God gave him success. He succeeded. You go in your Bible, do your study, and you see that you do not struggle. You will not struggle to succeed when you are chosen. And in 2023, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. that we will not struggle to succeed. Amen. We will not struggle to get into our profit. Amen. We will not struggle to, to do business. Amen. We will not struggle even to do many other things in our lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we will not struggle in finances. Amen. But God is going to use his finances yes. into our lives. In the name of Jesus, we will not struggle in relating with one another. In the name of Jesus Christ, because God is giving us success. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare prayer today yes. in the name of Jesus yes. because of the anointing of our lives yes. we will not struggle yes. to succeed yes. in our in, in our lives yes. in the name of Jesus Christ we will not struggle yes. to succeed yes. in our businesses yes. we will not struggle yes. to succeed in our church yes. we will not struggle yes. to succeed in our places of work yes. in the name of Jesus Christ we will not struggle yes. even to receive our promotion right now in the name of Jesus I release and I declare the anointing the anointing over your life will be able to open doors for you in the name of Jesus Christ where you could not get where you could not go I declare today in the name of Jesus Christ God is taking you there in the name of Jesus Christ I declare today in the name of Jesus Christ that abundance will be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. Those ones who do not have their own homes, I declare today in the name of Jesus, you will not struggle to get your home. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you now in the name of Jesus. I declare you will not struggle yes. to receive your healing. Yes. 
because God has chosen you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you and we give you all the praise. Thank you for speaking to us.